Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.3 RC update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. After over a month of beta testing, Apple is finally seeding macOS 15.3 RC. This release candidate version is the most packed among the other software updates expected to be available in the next week. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.3 RC, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for Updates. You can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.3 RC update size is around 15.22 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.3 RC, and the build number is 24D60. Now talking about the new features introduced in this build. This update introduces Genmoji, powered by Apple Intelligence, and also includes other enhancements, bug fixes, and security updates for your Mac. Genmoji creation in messages and other apps. Calculator repeats the last mathematical operation when you click the equals sign again. Easily manage settings for notification summaries from the lock screen. Updated style for summarized notifications better distinguishes them from other notifications by using italicized text as well as the glyph. Notification summaries for news and entertainment apps are temporarily unavailable, and users who opt in will see them again when the feature becomes available. So that was all about the changes and improvements made in this build. Moving forward, and talking about the macOS Sequoia 15.3 RC release notes. The macOS 15.2 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.3 RC. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.2, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding Apple Intelligence new features, for users new or upgrading to macOS 15.3, Apple Intelligence will be enabled automatically during Mac onboarding. Users will have access to Apple Intelligence features after setting up their devices. To disable Apple Intelligence, users will need to navigate to the Apple Intelligence and Siri settings pane and turn off the Apple Intelligence toggle. This will disable Apple Intelligence features on their device. Regarding SwiftUI resolved issues, fixed, the Don Keypress modifier might not work on text field or text editor that are in a navigation split view. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for macOS Sequoia 15.2 RC release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.